you're just learning what a fetal Doppler is, you may be wondering if you can use it to detect whether something is wrong with your baby. Is the device just meant for fun or can it be used for medical purpose at home? I'm Dr. Carolina Malgar from Sono Health. I'm a practicing cardiologist and I focus on fetal cardiovascular health. In this video, I want to outline when a fetal doctor can detect abnormalities and the precautions you should take if you're worried. So, it's a handheld device that you can use at home to feel, to hear your baby's heartbeat. It uses technology similar to an ultrasound to pick up and amplify a baby's heartbeat while in the womb. My patients love it because it provides reassurance. It's easy to use. It's a great bonding experience. Sometimes the wait between the checkups can be long and many of my patients worry about whether if not their baby's okay, especially if they're first time moms or if they've experienced complications before. In these cases, a fetal Doppler can be reassuring. I found it to be a great opportunity for fathers to bond with their babies. I'm sure that it sounds complex, but fetal Dopplers are actually very easy to use. With that being said, you'll want to know how to make sure you're detecting the actual heartbeat and not another sound. This takes practice, but listening to your baby's heartbeat when your doctor performs the ultrasound will let you recognize the next time you want to hear it from home. Although fetal Dopplers can detect some abnormalities, let's leave that job to your doctor who will examine you and your baby thoroughly when you go to your regular visits. Meanwhile, you can continue using the fetal Doppler to listen to the reassuring sound of his little heart. Remember that even if you're certain it's an abnormality, a doctor will need to diagnose the problem and then treat it. Now, what exactly do I look for when I'm examining a pregnant patient? If I didn't schedule her for an ultrasound, I might just limit myself to listen to the baby's heart with a fetal Doppler. Once I identify the heartbeat, I look for the fetal heart rate outside of the expected range. Remember that a normal fetal heart rate typically ranges from 120 to 160 beats per minute, but it can change depending on what trimester you're on. And I'll also look for missed heartbeats or a slower rate than usual. If you think you hear an abnormality in your baby's heartbeat, here's what you should do. First, try to keep calm and remember you're not a professional. Even if you think you're sure you're detecting an abnormality, don't assume. Even if the display shows a heart rate out of the normal rate, consider the possibility that you've detected another sound, such as your own heartbeat or the placenta. If you hear that the heartbeat fades, it could mean that the baby is switching positions. He might just be trying to get a little bit more comfortable. It is possible that he's moved into a position that makes it more difficult to access and detect the heartbeat. If this is the case, you'll need to try again after the baby's moved. Remember that you can stimulate the baby's movements by changing your own position or going to the bathroom or having a sweet snack. If you can't hear your baby's heartbeat at all, consider that even if at 12 weeks, you're still very early on and the baby may still be very small and way too deep inside your room. In general, the bigger your baby gets, the easier it will be to hear his heartbeat. If you can't hear it and your doctor says that everything is fine, you can relax because it just may be too early. If this is not the case and you haven't been able to hear your baby or felt it move in two hours, call your doctor. If you're not sure that what you're detecting is a problem, call your doctor. Now, the amount of help we as doctors can provide over the phone is limited because we can't physically assess you. However, this is when a fetal Doppler comes in handy. If you have a recording of the heartbeat, you could send it or even play it over the phone. If you're experiencing other symptoms along with the possible heartbeat irregularity, it's probably best to go to the emergency room. Remember that the symptoms you should never ignore are bleeding, abdominal or back pain, seeing bright lights, sudden nausea, fainting, and fever. There's no way to know what's going on until a doctor examines you. Let me go back on something I just mentioned. If you notice some changes or skips in your baby's heartbeat every now and then, you may want to record it so you can play it back to your doctor. If the issue doesn't happen during a scheduled appointment, we may have a harder time to diagnose the problem. In this case, hearing a recording of your baby's heartbeat, especially what you're being concerned about, may help. I had a patient once, Dana. She was pregnant with her second baby and everything was going fine. 
she hadn't experienced any symptoms, any discomfort, and she just started to listen to her baby's heartbeat as a daily routine, just for the whole family's experience. She began noticing that the baby's heartbeat could occasionally slow down and even stop completely at times. Luckily, Dana recorded these events and sent them to me. After seeing the baby with an ultrasound, I was able to detect a cardiac malformation that had to be treated inside the womb. Dana had to receive antiarrhythmics that reached the baby through the placenta. Luckily, this was detected early, so we could treat the problem quickly. Always remember that the fetal Doppler doesn't replace your doctor's visit. Even if your baby sounds healthy every time you use your Doppler, you cannot skip medical visits. Your doctor can check for other issues that you won't be able to find. Remember that your doctor is there to clarify all your questions and doubts. The fetal Doppler cannot diagnose or treat problems, but it's a very helpful tool for us. Besides the fact that it can bring you reassurance and a bonding experience. On the other hand, it could happen that a woman hears the baby's heartbeat and assumes he's healthy, when in reality something is wrong, causing a false reassurance. This is why it's important, it's important to also watch out for other signs that something may be going wrong. For example, less fetal movement, bleeding, cramping or intense pain, extreme back pain or fever. So anyways, what's the take back? Fetal Dopplers can be used by medical professionals to detect abnormalities. However, many of you out there are happy to use it at home to hear the reassuring sound of your baby's heart. Whenever you're in doubt, or you suspect something is wrong, consult your doctor and watch out for other signs that something may be wrong. For example, if your baby isn't moving as much as usual, if there's bleeding, cramping, or extreme abdominal pain or back pain or fever. So tell me, have you heard your baby's heartbeat yet? If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Just leave them in the comments below. I'm Dr. Carolina Melgar from Summer Health. Thank you for watching.